All right, so I'm realizing that um, in the last video, I actually forgot to mention how uh, the page numbers work here, the layout IDs. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna touch on that really really quickly uh, in this short video. So basically, um, in the master layout here, I've got um, the architectural D master layout, which again can be found in the layout book. Scroll all the way down under the masters uh, folder. You just double tap that architectural D uh, master layout, it'll take you here. So here it's auto generating the layout ID. Um, and so if we go to an actual page that has this particular um, master layout applied, such as this one, A5 details, it's just a random one that I'm picking out. You can see that it's updated with the actual page number and it doesn't have that hashtag layout ID, right? Um, and so how can we adjust this? Um, there's a couple ways, um, but I believe the easiest way is if you just head down here under properties where you see this A-501. Um, it's uh, not just a coincidence that that's, um, you know, that, that just so happens to match with the sheet number here, um, but you can actually change it here, right? So if I put A-502, it'll update there in just a second as it did right there. Um, but we already have a sheet titled um, A-502 so I'll just leave that layout ID alone and then if you want to change the sheet title so the sheet title is right over here um, that is this input field over here that where it says details so if I put details one two three you'll see it update right over here so you can quickly rename layouts in this way um, through the uh, master layouts um, or apply it to them to this particular uh, layout only so it won't it won't change it for any of the other sheets right so if I change this to details one two three so just to clarify um, it's not changing the master layout per se it's only changing the appearance of the master layout on this particular layout so if I head over to this one you'll see that this one just says details right which is matches up with the title of the sheet that it has here in this uh, in this input field right here um, which is coincidentally the uh, text field text string that's over here and so let me go back over here and I'll delete that one two three but that's that's basically all I wanted to cover um, there's a couple there's a couple other things that you can do um, with master layouts but we'll we'll explore that as we go all right thank you guys